If you're wondering what that sound is, that's the sound of me watching The Message when I was in Sunday school as a kid. Now, if you don't know what The Message is, it's this movie that came out in 1976 that's basically this epic historical Lawrence of Arabia-like movie that is about the life and chronicles of Prophet Muhammad, who is the messenger of Allah in the religion of Islam. This movie I watched recently is pretty great. I actually really enjoyed it, and there are a lot of movies that kind of try to emulate what Lawrence of Arabia does, but this movie is legitimately epic, and it does a great job telling its very dense story that is not suited well for a movie in my opinion. I feel like the crucifixion of Jesus is structured well for a film, whereas this movie, I mean, so much is going on, so much is happening, and there are some moments in the film where I wish there was a little more build-up to it, but overall, it does a really great job condensing so much in three hours. But when you're a little kid and you're in Sunday school and you don't want to be there on a Sunday morning, sometimes your teacher will just kind of put this on and you will lose your mind because it is so lame when you're a little kid. I want to watch Marvel. I want to watch, I want to watch Lion King one and a half. Yeah. However, as an older man who is uh, cultured, you could say someone who actually can watch a movie that's a little longer than 90 minutes, unlike some people. I thought it was pretty great. So overall, The Message is a great movie. I think it does a really good job depicting the beginnings of Islam and showing the kind of journey that Prophet Muhammad went through. But there's one weird thing about the film. He's not in it. In Islam, you can't depict Prophet Muhammad. You can't depict any prophets. In fact, you can't even depict many relatives of his. We actually see his uncle in the film, which garnered a lot of controversy in the Muslim world at the time and was even banned from a couple of countries. In Islam, you cannot paint prophets. You can't act like a prophet. You can't even voice prophets. And the movie goes through great lengths trying to get around this. And I think the movie does actually a really good job, despite the fact that there are some POV shots in the movie where you're supposed to be in the point of view of the prophet and it's Kind of creepy, even though I'm not even a Muslim anymore. It just felt weird. You are the messenger of God. Wait, 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 wait. But it got me thinking. Islam is really anti-religious art. In fact, it's debated among a lot of Muslims whether music is forbidden or not. I remember when my dad told me as a kid that it was forbidden to draw eyes in faces. In Islam and I was just crying in my room because I wanted to be an artist. Now I kind of respect Islam not going the religious iconography route especially when it was at the wake of iconography Mecca which is the holy city of Islam was riddled with idol worshippers and weird religious pagan sacrifices but <laughs> that cultural impact though it's crazy how there are a billion plus Muslims in the world, yet when it comes to music, art, film, they're just not depicted as much. But you know, you watch some of these movies, um, these pure flicks movies, these Jesus movies, I think of God's Not Dead. Now, hypothetically, Muslims could make their version of God's Not Dead. In fact, I'm sure if you look really hard, maybe you could find something like that. But you look at how art is utilized sometimes by religious people, and they use it for their own ways. And this is exactly what Islam actually tries to not do. They try to focus on the message, not on however Prophet Muhammad might have looked. People end up worshipping their own versions of things. I mean, just think of the you know heated debate that happens sometimes about whether Jesus was white or Arab or black. Who, who knows? Maybe he's the whitest Palestinian of all time. There are a few films that do actually go on about the Muslim experience, just a few that I would like to recommend. Each hour here in this sacred land enables me to have a greater spiritual insight. <laughs> 
سر نخی یه نشونی یه چیزی بد داشته دیگه یاری هم قاتل معمولی نیست پس کجا میمونی؟ Sometimes I do think to myself, though, man, how great would this scene be if Prophet Muhammad could be depicted, if he could be shown. But then we'd also have to deal with the fact that an actor is portraying Prophet Muhammad. And I feel like the power that comes with him not being depicted, the power of the restraint, I think actually goes harder. It goes harder. Anyways, I recommend the film. The message is actually a pretty great movie, despite what your Sunday school teachers Oh, they actually did say the movie was good. But anyways, you should choose to watch this film rather than be forced to watch this film. Ramadan Mubarak to anybody who celebrates it. And have a great day, beefcakes.